I joined, I joined scouting when I was 11 years old. I was not in the Cub Scout program, the younger program, but I joined as a Boy Scout. And I was in a troop in uh, um, just north of New York City in a city called Yonkers. Okay. And uh, I went to scout camp in very northern part of uh, New York State in the Adirondack Mountains, which was very nice for several summers. And uh, when I was 13, we moved to Long Island, east of New York City, and I joined a different troop. Okay, and, well, uh, what was the number of the troop then? So the first troop was uh, Troop 148, Yonkers, New York, and it's no, no longer, actually no longer in existence. There are a number of troops that were around in the 60s and 70s due to the, you know, baby boomers. Mm -hmm. And that no longer kind of folded in the 1970s. I know, back Just, again with the baby boom. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, when we moved to Long Island, I joined a, a scout troop 421. And okay. that was in a different scout council. So which, which would you say is your favorite out of the two that you were involved in? Uh, well, they were both fun. I think the second one was a lot of fun because after that, I worked on summer camp staff. Okay. At, uh, a scout camp called Antiora, and that is a Native American word for meaning uh, land in the sky because it was up in the mountains. Oh, brilliant. And it was, it was a very beautiful place, and I still go back there and visit mm -hmm. um, once or twice a year. Now, so it's a lot, nice place. What color was the necker then? So my first necker was red and blue, and it had the um, Boy Scouts of America symbol in the middle, mm -hmm. and it was just a standard necker that they sell that sold at the scout shop. But my second one was a um, they they handmade their own, and it was yellow, and it had a um, a compass on it, and it was then it said Troop Four Twenty One Hicksville, New York. Oh, brilliant! So when if I was to say. Give me a memory of one of your favorite camps. Yeah, I think you've nearly mentioned that camp. Yeah. So, so uh, Auntie Ura was a, like a fun place. And one of my early camping trips I went on with them, we went to the mountains in February and they did a camping weekend, like a camper called Operation Igloo mm -hmm. because it was just so cold. We we did skating on the um, frozen lake, and we went sledding. Um, would, would you get away with that type of thing now with health and safety? Not, uh, <laughs> nah, probably not. <laughs> they still have that event. They call it. They call it Blue Nose, mm -hmm. and uh, they go through a lot of different training, and they're and it's not as extensive as what we do. A lot of things you can't get away with now. <laughs> yes, of course. So, and. Um, we always, we always ask our presenters and our listeners now because because scouting is all volunteer you you eventually i guess became a leader but what is your full-time profession well, my full-time profession is um i'm an environmental scientist and um you know i learned about the environment through scouting being in the great outdoors mm -hmm. um and I work at a facility that's owned by the Department of Energy, you know, it's, and it's part of the Navy's uh, nuclear program. And uh, so we have to deal with a lot of getting rid of waste and um, things like that. Now, so. I was talking to Scott and I was talking to Ed. Are you going to attend the World Jamboree? I, I hope so. I applied for mm -hmm. a position and I got approval from our mission. Uh, so I'm waiting to hear back uh, w with an assignment. So, yes, I hope to be. <laughs> you don't know. You don't know what you're going to be given yet. That's that's the not, big surprise. Yeah, I haven't heard. Yeah, I haven't heard that part. They said it's going to take a while. I've read on social media that a, a number of people have been given assignments already. Mm -hmm. um, but they said it could take the rest of the year before they um pass out the rest of the assignments and you know the the u.s and well, every country that's coming there's 166 countries mm -hmm. everybody has a quota so 
it just depends on how many people they're going to assign us things to. Yeah, I'm going to ask you the, the final question, and this is the difficult one. If you had a choice of a song that was going to be used to describe your life in scouting, what would it be? Oh, geez, that's a very hard question. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll even let you pick three if you want. Three? Are, are, are they, do they have to be scouting songs? Or they don't they have not? to be scouting songs. They, they can be adventure songs. They can be songs that you think, this describes my life in scouting. Yeah. Um, well, there's, a, you know, there's, a, um, I guess, Northern, Northern Ireland, uh, Irish... Uh, um, artist that I really like, Van Morrison. I'm mm -hmm. sure you like him. I do like Van Morrison. Yeah, and he has a song called Days Like This, a very upbeat and uh, positive great song. Great choice. I like that choice. Yeah, that's yeah. A, that's number one. Okay, go on. If you have more, you can keep going. Oh, geez. Uh, uh, a U.S. artist I like is uh, Bruce Springsteen. Yes. So, uh, I'll, I'll pick uh, Born to Run. A, again, a brilliant song that we must play on Scouting Radio, yeah? That's his um, his uh, signature song. And then I'm going to pick a Rolling Stones song that I like. It's called Waiting on a Friend. That is brilliant. I I tell you, you I can see why you, you have the, the music DJ inside you, yeah. <laughs> David. Uh, well, my son became an Eagle Scout. He's not in scouting now. Uh, my, my daughter... To, had an interesting story. She went to Africa when she was in college. Okay. And she, and she went. She was in Ghana, wow. and she uh, she ran across a Ghanaian um, Boy Scout troop, and they were wearing T-shirts that had Baden Powell's face on it. Wow. And, and they adopt they adopted her and a friend, and they took them on a hike through the national park. And she called me and told me, and she sent me a picture. They were all doing the uh, scout. You know the scout sign. sign. Yeah, that's that's fun. That's fantastic. So, yeah. so how how is it that you are still involved? Are you are you, are you still in in a leader capacity, or do you just uh, decide that every three or four years I'm going to go to the national jamboree? I I'm still in a leader capacity at the troop level. I I'm I still help out. When uh, scouts come up for advancement, I'll help out. They do boards of review. Mm -hmm. um, I I help out with the Eagle Scout program, and then I'm on the membership committee helping for recruiting. Okay. Um, I'm not as active as as I once were, uh, as I once was, but um, I still do a couple of things. Still, still has a, the heartbeat inside you for scouting. Yeah. Great, good to talk to you again, David. Mm -hmm.